I'm about to go on a date with a guy that I think is a sugar daddy. All right, let me show you something. Okay, so what's up guys? It's like the Thursday after Labor Day weekend. I'm just over here trying to get my life together. Yeah, so I just got, went in this Amazon package. The Amazon package has literally been sitting for like days. And um, it has a new coat rack because this coat rack is about to fall over. Got a new one from Amazon, and I also got some other stuff from Amazon for my Miami trip. And we're gonna build this uh, coat rack, and um, I need to really make a plan for the rest of the day. I feel like you guys help me stay accountable because then I like commit to like a plan. I don't know. So I want to put this thing together, I want to finish cleaning my room all the way. I also want to make it to the gym. Oh yeah, and I got fired from my second job. It's a long story. The bitch was really racist. If you live in Brooklyn and you like to support black owned restaurants, yada, 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 I would not support Sweet Science because it's fake black owned and it's ran by a white lady and the white lady is mad racist and she only likes black dick, not black women. I'm almost done with cleaning my room. I'm putting on my duvet. I guess I'll show you guys. This is such a difficult task. Why does putting on a duvet have to be so hard? This is the gym fit. Okay, so I'm back home from the gym. Why do I got my headphones on? Oh my god. I did cardio and abs. Uh, this was my first time doing cardio before stretching. So I did like five minutes of jump rope before stretching. And then I always do like 10 minutes of jump rope, as many jumps as I can in 10 minutes um, after. So I did like 15 minutes of jump roping in like an ab circuit. And I haven't done abs since I got back in the gym. It was pretty brutal. Not overly hard but it was pretty brutal so um i'm supposed to be my friend says she wants to leave her house at about 11 so i'm gonna try to be leaving here at like 10 so that means i need to like really start getting ready at like 9 but i'm also gonna cook dinner hopefully it doesn't take longer than an hour where i just okay so we're on the way outside and yes i'm out for peter i wore a variation of this outfit to um the boat party that i went on on sunday morning this is the look. Denim with denim. I have a burgundy lip. And I'm wearing this burgundy purse. And I think this is a cute little, a cute little fit, honey. Little fall transitional outfit. Mm-hmm. Okay, guys, we're in the city. About to hit the party. Hey. At least we ain't gotta worry about no coat check this time of year. Oh my god, it looks so nasty. What is this? This is animal. I, I wanted a lettuce burger with fries. And he said, Well, you might as well just get this. They don't have lettuce. So, guys, I ended up coming into work too early. So, I'm gonna take y'all around with me. Uh, I'm in this really cute area of town. There's all types of stuff. And I just want to show somebody, so I'm going to show y'all. How cute those record stories. One thing about me, I'm going to always find a cute little thrift, honey. All the little vintage coach vibes. Look at that. Look at this. This is fire. That's insane. All the jerseys. I know this stuff is expensive, y'all. Like, look at this. I love this texture. So pretty. And, like, the cut is so vintage. Oh, 
I love the jewelry table. Ooh. Y'all know I'm crazy about turquoise right now. I'm really enjoying my day. Even It's actually been so fun just walking around. I ate me a yogurt for breakfast, a Siggy's yogurt. It was pretty good. Um, and it has 15 grams of protein. And then I have my little protein pastry that I'm gonna eat. But I think I'm gonna do another thing with coffee. This was just drip coffee, cause I was trying to be on a budget this morning. Now I'm just out spending money unnecessarily, but I am gonna go get me a latte and chill and finish uploading my Labor Day weekend vlog. If you haven't watched it, you definitely need to check it out. Um, hopefully you guys have been loving the vlogs. I've been really enjoying filming them, honestly. This is so good, y'all. Oh my God. It's crazy because after work, late right now, guys. They don't have to tell you this, but yes, late. There's a man outside trying to fight the security guards. It's kind of ghetto, but we're near the train. I'm with all my friends, and we're going on the train together. So everything's good. <laughs> Okay guys, so I have no idea when's the last time I vlogged, but today I'm about to go on a date with a guy that I think is a sugar daddy. So it's a long story about how I met him. I'll tell you that later, cause I'm literally late. He said he's gonna be here at 6.30 and it's like, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5.05 p.m. It's 5.05, so I don't have that long to get ready. I already picked out my outfit. I'm gonna try to look a little classy. So we have, I've worn this shirt before if you follow me on Instagram, but this is a different way of styling it with this skirt, which this skirt used to be so fucking tight on me. I did myself like my own little pedicure today and I did my press on. So. And I literally had to like shave in the shower, so yeah. I'm gonna put my hair just in like a slip back bun. So that'll be fast. Yeah, I'm gonna check back in with you guys later. Okay guys, so I uh, did an everything shower, uh, which was surprisingly kind of fast. So now I'm just gonna start getting ready. It's, Alexa, what time is it? The time is 5.40 p.m. 5.40, so that means I have like 30 minutes to do my makeup. Um, now I don't know if he's actually a sugar daddy, but I mean, I don't see why a man this old would wanna go on a date with a young woman unless he was offering something so i'm gonna just see what he was talking about like he's not a terrible looking old man and oh my god i have a keloid on my nose that looks so bad and i'm drinking a protein shake this is my first time having my protein with just almond milk so it smells okay it's not terrible okay so we finally got the hair together and yeah so like i was saying the guy, he used to be a wholesaler of liquor for the bar that I worked at. And he was always really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go on this date and see what he's talking about. And hopefully he's a sugar daddy, cause you know, I've never had a sugar daddy before and I feel like I can do it. If he has a good personality, you know, he could be a companion and then we could both benefit from it, you know? I have a TikTok on the makeup that I'm about to do. And if you want to see like a faster version, I have a reel on my Instagram. I feel like I look really cute. I feel like I look very classy. Um, I was gonna take a jacket, but I'm like, I think I'll be okay. Cause none of the jackets that I pulled looked good. And it's like a little too warm for the jacket still. So this is the outfit that we decided on. Yeah, I think it's really cute. Okay, so he's here, guys. I'm about to go downstairs. I'm kind of nervous. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna update you guys. We're at this like really nice restaurant. It's a Caribbean restaurant, but it's like really upscale. Um, I ordered this salmon. It was really good. I'm gonna try to record a little at the table. I don't know if I'm able to do it. I don't want to be looking like I'm recording. So he's an older gentleman, but he's actually very handsome. To be old, he's a very handsome man. You know, he pulled up in the bins, little bins truck. Um, he got all his little jewelry on and stuff. He's he's a nice little little money making Caribbean man. So, this, this, this 
sound like a girl, like a Caribbean and little, little, little bread. So it's working out so far. Work, work, we been at work. I was supposed to be coming over there um, yesterday because I wanted to watch my car by car. But um, I had too much of calls and I had to be up. with it for a while he came back again when he said listen i want you to be the general manager welcome all right let me show you something okay guys so i'm finally home the day was wonderful Audric is a wonderful man. He's a very nice man. So sweet, very fashionable, very stylish. Awesome conversation. We went to a lovely restaurant and then we went back to his house and we had a bottle of rose, champagne, my Vera Wang, very tasty. And I had a glass of bourbon while I was there because I was talking to him about Beyonce's bourbon because he is a, I told you guys, he wholesale liquor guy. So, and he's always worked in liquor industry. So we had like great conversation about that. You know, I might be going on a vacation with my little sugar daddy. I'm gonna get to the point where I ask him for money. When I go to Miami, I'm asking for like some money. He need to give me some money. He didn't tip well. That was my only thing. The bill was like, I saw the bill. I think it was like a hundred and it was a hundred and sixty dollars and he tipped ten dollars. That is really bad. Okay guys, so I haven't vlogged in a few days, but I'm uptown right now in Harlem. I'm about to do this like promotion thing. Kind of like a throwback to when I used to be an outside sales agent, but it's just like letting people taste alcohol and you get paid for it. So I'm gonna go do that for a few hours. This is where I'm doing my tasting at. Definitely different than the last one. So this is my little setup, guys. I am sampling this sweet red. I have a dry red right here that's a mom bag. And then I have this tamarind tequila. And y'all know I done made me a little drink with my tamarind tequila so I can have me some little drink while I sell. And I mix it with this Haritos. Look at this big dog, y'all. Oh my God. And it's pineapple soda. Hey, wait. Everybody meet Nikki. So I'm almost done at this tasting, you guys. I think next time when I come, I'm just going to make cocktails. Like, make a little batch cocktail. And bring it with me. Like, that's what's in this. Write down recipe on a little board. And I think that'll be cute. I'm not used to having more than one alcohol but yeah it's been fun it's been chill I <laughs> Hey y'all, so I wasn't gonna vlog today because I'm not trying to exploit this man, but it's like two days later and I'm out with my little sugar daddy again. And he got us at this little, I've been to the place before, like it's like a low key like club type. It's like an after hour spot. Child, I'm sorry, I just didn't tell somebody. Y'all like my friend, he didn't brought his friend from Connecticut and it's like his little day is with him. So child, I'm on a double date with my sugar daddy child. He just happy to show something off with good child. It's like two hours later. I'm still having fun. Came downstairs. The couple, they're very nice. Um, my sugar daddy and the other guy, they grew up together. He has his like girlfriend with him and she's like Venezuelan. She's an older woman, but she's very pretty. We're having so much fun. He can dance so good to be old. Don't be sleeping on old men. Old men are fun. They have much more greater personality. They have much more money. And they like you a whole lot more than these niggas. So, child, if you can get you a little older man, get him, child. I don't got no complaints so far. <laughs> So 
So guys, I finally made it home. You looking for a provider? Get you old me. All I'm saying. Spice up your life. Spice up your life. Spice up your life.